So let's talk about uh, key lights. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fish Tank. Hope you guys are having a squid test today. My name is Squid Ed Joe, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Godox Esports LED light or the ES45. Now this usually retails on Amazon, at least that's where I purchased it from for $135. But when at the time of me purchasing it, I actually got it for $118. And I actually got two of them um, just because my setup is kind of different and a little unique since I'm running everything by myself or wherever. And I wanted to do more videos like this in the future and move setups around or wherever and maybe, you know, have talking head videos in different spaces. I wanted to be able to have this as my actual key light because you can actually use this as your actual key light you don't need to you know have it tied to your stream deck or tied to a mobile app or wherever like the elgato key light and and on top of that it doesn't cost as way or way overpriced like the uh, razor key light that literally just launched or wherever not too long ago um the only thing about it is that it doesn't have rgb but this key light actually comes with uh 28,000 or 2800 to 6500 Kelvin temperature control and then on top of that you also get the zero to 100 percent brightness uh, that is adjustable from actual command module that comes off the back of the light to where you can have it sitting on the light it can charge it can stay there you can press the power button and everything and it turns on but the thing about this that i like over both of the razor and the elgato key lights is that the fact that you can actually pop this off and place it on your desk and you can just hit the power button and it controls the light and if you get two of these like i did straight out the box it can one power module when you pop it off the back of one of the lights controls both lights so if i hit the power button if i adjust the brightness or something like that it will adjust the brightness turn on turn off or wherever of these lights now these roughly are the same size as the razor and the elgato key light or wherever as round as you can see i think the razor is a little bit bigger because i think it's like square or something like that or vice versa for the elgato light or whatever essentially it's the same light and it's 135 dollars. i would suggest anybody out there to go ahead and get this light over the elgato light over the razor light because again you don't have to worry about apps you, there is an app for people who like apps and stuff like that there is an app but for me i don't care for apps there's too many apps out there i already got a lot of apps i don't need that especially while i'm streaming or sitting here or whatever or even use like take up space on my stream deck or wherever for you know the elgato lights or going to mini folder all that stuff or like i said use the app because i've seen a lot of people actually complain about it being like a little laggy and stuff with that again ain't no software needed anything you got a physical switch i rather honestly have a physical switch especially since i have two lights and i can control them at the same time i can control like turning them on like i said or controlling the brightness if i did want to control them individually then i would just put the the actual control module whatever back on the light and you just control it that way and that way you can control it individually but as soon as you pop the control module off then obviously you're going to control both of them if you wanted to change the channels or or anything like that there is a button next to the power supply button or the power button that would actually allow you to control the um the actual channels and, and and everything like that to set them up on different channels if you need to um, but again, straight out the box, as long as you pop this off or wherever the back of one of them and you have both lights plugged in and you hit the power button, they'll both come on. The little knob changes the how bright the light gets versus how dim it is. And then the other knob actually changes the color temperature. Again, both of my lights usually run around uh, 3,500 Kelvin. Um, I usually keep them between uh, 20 to 40 percent uh, brightness. And then on top of that, like I said, I have two of them. So I have them angled at both different ways. I am using a uh, 
Sony Alpha 6100 camera with the Sigma lens on it. The Sigma lens has a f-stop of 1.4 and again it's you know 1 over 60 and then on top of that the ISO is dropped all the way down to 100 and it's color temperature to you know the 35 100 kelvin if anybody's curious about that or whatever if you don't know about that stuff then don't worry about it but if you are curious about it there you go and the cool thing about this is that it comes with a desk clamp now more, the light that's on right now is actually on a tripod uh, from a ring light that I had end up getting or whatever from Walmart. But now that I obviously have these lights, I don't need the ring light. And um, it's just a cheap ring light or whatever stand, tripod stand or wherever. You can get one of these or whatever, probably pretty cheap, even on Amazon. Um, it just look again for like a little tripod or something like that because these lights are a little heavy uh as far as like in the center obviously because this is where probably all of it takes place as far as like the power converter and all that stuff but they're not heavy to where if you just have it on a tripod the tripod's gonna fall over on a cheap one ring light tripod or whatever bundle or whatever that i got from walmart it was like 20 bucks so you imagine the kind of tripod stand that you're gonna get in that and again it's been sitting here and i've had this for like a month and a half now and after i purchased it again with my own money it hasn't fallen over once i've moved this to the living room hasn't fallen over i've done some product shots using it again i'm kind of getting used to this stuff i'm kind of new to it but i've had any issues of it toppling over falling over top heavy whatever the reason why that i have it on a tripod is because the way my desk is there is a metal um frame and then the actual desk sits on top of that metal frame now the actual desk comes over the frame like this just a little bit just slightly um so it can't really clamp on the desk because how thick the actual metal frame is so with that being said it, again it comes with a desk clamp um i noticed because i do own the elgato uh, multi-mount well two of them the small one and the log uh, the large one or the long one um i do notice that their desk clamps are a little bit um bigger so their desk clamps is probably like around that big so if you have a already a elgato multi-mount this key light or whatever will fit obviously on it because there's actually a ball head that I took off the actual, actual clamp or wherever and you can actually put it on the tripod and if you put it on the tripod or wherever it's fine it works same threading everything like that so you don't have to worry about it um if you do want to put it on a tripod um, but I imagine with this, how big this is, norm, normal people size desks and stuff, you, you wouldn't have a problem. Even if it's like a super thin desk, you, you just wouldn't have a problem. It's just because the type of desk, like I said, that I have, it it's just, it's too thick, I guess, or whatever. So most people wouldn't run into the, this issue. And again, you can always just get a cheap tripod or wherever that doesn't really cost you that much. And even still, even if you do that and get like a $10 one or $20 one, like I did from Walmart and just throw away the ring light or something like that, or use the ring light for something else, I don't know, but you're still gonna come out what a hundred and like $50, $60 or something like that, depending on the tripod, all that stuff. And you still would come overhead of of the elgato key light and the razor light definitely the razor light but the elgato key light and it's crazy because again to me i got this for 118 dollars and if i only got one of them that would be a still because the elgato just released the key light mini which obviously is rechargeable it can get into probably cramped spaces or wherever it's not too big and then on top of that you know it's rechargeable battery all that stuff but it doesn't really have a physical switch like this to where the people are already complaining about the buttons on the side or wherever on the actual rolling switch that you can click in all that stuff for seeing issues you with just that press the little jog wheel on the side twice to change color temperature pressing it once changes brightness this is a decent means of interacting with the light but it can be kind of fiddly and i'm personally I'm not a fan when you can just put knobs on the side like this other light. However, thankfully you can still connect it to Wi-Fi by holding the jog wheel for five seconds and then adding it through Elgato's Control Center app and control it via that method or with the Stream Deck for more usable controls. 
it's nice you know what i'm saying it's a hundred dollars and it's nice and like i said it's portable and you can put it in places and it, having it being my magnetic and everything it's it's a really good light and don't get me wrong elgato makes really good products and everything but when you're coming from a point where you're building your your setup over time and it's taking months and months and months and you don't really have that much money to spend asking somebody to spend two hundred dollars on on a light that's only really controlled uh, by apps or a stream deck you would have to plug it to your computer and then you would have to use the app on the computer or the stream deck or your phone with this you don't have to plug it in the computer so if i wanted to use this key light like i said in my living room if i wanted to grab it and just go in my living room plug it into a wall i can still use it from the command module i don't have to worry about taking out my phone looking at it or wherever or having it plugged up to a pc or something like that like most people won't need something like this because again most people are using this for like their live streams or their youtube videos or something like that like how i'm doing right now but just the convenience sake of being able to grab this thing my my wife just texted me <laughs> but just having the convenience be able to grab this thing and again like i said just plug it into a wall outlet or some kind of power source or wherever it's just it's just so much better it doesn't have rgb like the razor light but there is somewhat of a workaround not necessarily with this light in particular but there is a workaround for rgb um if you have any uh products or anything like that that has rgb like from govi or other somewhat name brand companies out there there is something that you can have now it's kind of a subscription base but you can there's also a free version or whatever of it but there's also a subscription based uh, version of it it's called luma stream i'll put a link in the description I'm not affiliated with them at all or anything like that or i'll probably put like a video about it in the description but it would actually have your lights whenever you switch scenes in obs or make a source available in obs or somebody like follows or you know i guess sub donate cheer all that stuff they that your rgb lighting will actually react to it and that's what you know the razor key light is kind of like saying like hey we have rgb and on top of that we can do this for your live streams well again why would you take away your key light just to have rgb and then your key light come back on why not have your key light on and then your rgb react that's already in the room dang there for free if not and then if you want like more customization all that stuff or wherever then obviously you can pay but even if you're paying like five to ten dollars monthly or wherever it still would be better than having the razor key light and then just getting one of these and you save a lot of money it's just doing this just by getting this i can't sing the praises enough of this key light for having this for like a month and a half the only downside i've run into is actually taking the command module off the back like i don't even want to take the command module off the back to this one so i would probably like put a over a view uh a video over this or wherever just demonstrating like even just one-handed how much force you have to actually put into this command module to pop it off the back and it's just because i think they just want to make sure that the actual magnets and the light actually stays you know connected to the back of the light so just keep that in mind if you are getting one don't feel like you're gonna break the light just know that popping this command module off the bat is is difficult if that is an issue for you and you don't want to have to pop it off the back all the time for whatever reason and you do only get like let's say one light or maybe you get two and you're fine with like not controlling them individually then just keep a note that the command module actually comes with usb type c charging port on the actual command module itself so you can actually you know if you have a power bank or something you have a usb type c cord um because the box it doesn't come with one but you can just grab any of them and just plug it in there leave it on your desk let it charge unplug it whenever it's done and then and then on top of that this one in particular has been sitting in my office uh uncharged unplugged to anything for like two days because i take friday and saturday off and it's still full charge that's my only complaint of the light like i said is actually popping off the command module off the back other than that for 135 dollars even though like i said i paid 118 dollars and I, you could still you know wait for a deal or something or try to find it cheaper um somewhere else i still suggest 
getting this i still can't sit there knowing that this light is out there and has been out there for a minute and not seeing anybody talk about this light and the razor light or wherever studio light or key light wherever coming out and the elgato releasing like a mini year version for around a hundred dollars and nobody is still talking about this light in particular like nobody i don't i don't understand this is like the best deal versus the actual product itself for between 118 to 135 depending i can't sit there and tell somebody to go buy a 200 or plus dollar light or even the elgato mini or wherever at 100 dollars when this is sitting at for 35 dollars more or 18 19 dollars more if it's on sale or not you can get this like granted yeah it doesn't have a rechargeable like battery for the light it needs to always be plugged in but again if most of your time most of the things that you're doing is uh doing product reviews or like youtube live streaming or just youtube videos and you're live streaming or something like that I, this is the best best bang for your buck now another option is actually getting the soft box that's comes in a kit with like i guess the light the light bulb the actual soft box itself a little tripod and a carrying case it's called uh mount dogs i guess uh soft box and it's around 50 dollars. and i've seen a lot of reviews and videos on it i'll probably put a link in the description to a guy who did a really really great job covering it um the only thing about those light boxes for uh, soft boxes from mount dog and like newer um on amazon that you see um because they have their own type of light or whatever for that i won't even get the led panels because it's hard with the bond doors and actually getting the soft box attachment and if you're getting all that for the led you know panels with the bond doors and all that stuff it's going to end up coming out to around the same price on top of that it's not perfectly diffused like these type of lights are and then on top of that you run into a temperature issue which is my thing about those soft boxes that you can see around around that price point one of the major cons of that is it does get hot oh. the biggest drawback for me with this light is the heat that comes off it within a couple of minutes i am roasting and sweating and most of the time i actually end up like sweating on my face so, as well having all those issues and then definitely like i said the heat is definitely something for me especially since i you know i live stream for long periods of time normally or i'm just in the office for long periods of time like i said it's a soft box so it's gonna take up more room and then on top of that, generate more heat. So with the softbox being, you know, top heavy, obviously in a cheap life stand, then you would have to invest into like sandbags or something like that to keep the stand from falling over or tipping over. And then on top of that, if something happens to the bulbs inside or wherever the soft boxes, um, newer does offer replacement bulbs that you can find on Amazon, but they were never in stock because everybody's obviously getting a cheaper option. So that's a problem. Mount Dog doesn't even offer, a lot of people talk about they can't even get in contact with the manufacturers or anything like that to get those light bulbs or wherever. Be careful if you're going for those cheaper options, I will still link it down in the description. Again, all the links down in the description to actual products are not affiliate links at all. They're just, you know, there to help you guide you in the right direction. Um, if you are interested in the softbox light, again, I'll put, you know, a video in the description or wherever so you can check that out. But I just, I highly recommend these. These are going to be better than, you know, the Elgato key light and they're going to be better than the razor light. And like I said, there's alternatives for your RGB if you want that to, you know, react to people following you and stuff like that on your live streams and everything. I couldn't stand it anymore seeing all these products being released and everybody hyping them up and stuff and then looking at the prices and i'm like th this light's right there ain't nobody really talking about this light i don't know why but nobody's really talking about it so wanted to put that information out there hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did then you already know what to do you can follow all the social media links they're all in the description i greatly greatly appreciate y'all watching this video again a full in-depth I guess setup tour guide thing is, ha is coming soon. I'm just waiting for another camera to get here. I'm gonna have to do it before my second PC gets here, I guess. And then um, a full video about all the RGB lighting and stuff that I use is coming out as well. Just waiting on the thumbnail uh, for it. So with that being said, hopefully you guys have a squid-tastic day. I will see you guys in the next one and uh, peace. Yeah.